It's always a nice feeling when you make coins either by playing matches, trading or investing in FIFA 22, but it doesn't even come close to the feeling of being profitable after finishing an SPC. Today I'm going to show you how to complete the Nation Hybrid Squad Builder Challenge and for you to always be profitable. Before I do get into the video, if you enjoy the content here and want to see a bit more from me, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. If you want to take it a step further, there is a link in the description down below which will take you over to my second YouTube channel. Over there, we're not playing FIFA, but we are playing the latest games that have just been released. So if you do want to see that, as said, there's a link to that in the description down below. Getting back into the video, the Nation Hybrid Squad Builder Challenge is just one of the SBCs that we're given every single year that never expires until you actually complete it yourself. It stays under the same name every year with very similar requirements, but it changes formation. And because every year players make transfers to different teams, some players retire, some players start their professional career for the first time, it means that every year we have a completely different team to build. These teams are very easy for you to start, but progressively get harder and harder. So I'm going to show you what I did to actually finish them, how much they cost me, and how you can always be profitable after finishing. So the first one that you need to go through is the final four. The requirements for this is exactly four nationalities, max four players from the same nation, max four players from the same club, minimum four rare players, minimum team rating 70, and minimum team chem 80. For this challenge, I put together this team. In net, we start off with Kevin Trapp. He cost me 1,100 coins. At center back position, we have Kemp. He cost me 950 coins. In the middle center back position, we have Sewell. He cost me 900 coins. And for our third and final center back, we have Stark, who cost me 1,000 coins. Moving to that right mid position, we have Roberto Torres. He cost me 500 coins. In the center mid position, we have Unai Vecido, who cost me absolutely nothing. In the other center mid position, we have Il Remendi, who also cost me nothing. In the left mid position, we have Nalito, who I also managed to pack, so cost me zero coins. In the cam position, we went for Birdie, who also cost me zero. In our striker position, we went for Quagliera, who cost me zero coins. And for our final striker, we went for Mamaburi, who cost me also zero coins. You'll notice that for a lot of these players, I didn't have to pay a penny. This is because I've managed to pack a lot of these players, making it considerably cheaper for me to actually complete this SBC. If you do have a lot of players within your club, it's best for you to use them rather than buying these exact players. Your benefit is that you will be able to get them for free because they're already in your club. And on top of that, you also have loyalty, so you don't have to worry about chemistry. If you follow the similar layout to what I've done with this team and how I link the players together, but just use it with the players that you have already within your club and then you're going to do it a lot cheaper. Because more than half of the players that I have within this team were packed pools, they do have loyalty which gives me a bit extra chem. If you're buying every single one of these players, you're going to have to swap out your second striker being Mama Baldi for Giroud. This will give full chem to Quirella and you should be able to complete the SBC without needing any loyalty. For me, completing all of this, I spent 4,450 coins and out of it, I got one Electrum Players Pack. Moving on to the second team that you need to put together, this is the six of the best. The requirements for this are exactly six nationalities, max three players from the same nation, max three players from the same club, minimum team rate in 75 and minimum team chemistry 85. And this is the team that we put together. In net, I've gone for Bellman, who cost me zero coins. Next, in the right back position, I had Schmid, who cost me 500 coins. In the center back position, I went for Hinteriger, who cost me zero coins. Our other center back partnering up is Piper, he cost me zero coins. In the left back position, I've gone for Gunter, he cost me zero coins. In the right mid position, we went for Lazaro, he cost me 400 coins. In the center mid position, we went for Bruno Costa, who cost me zero coins. In the other center mid position, we went for Mangala, who cost me zero coins. In the left mid position, we went for Toram, he cost me zero coins. In the striker position, we went for Paulinho, he cost me nothing. And finally, for our other striker, we went for Nunes, who also cost me zero coins. You can now see the benefit of having these players already within your club. Overall, this team cost me 900 coins, and out of it, I will be getting a gold players pack. If you was to buy all of these players, you may have a chemistry problem, but this is perfectly fine. Instead of going for the right back Schmid, you can instead go for Lena. Lena will get a strong link to Hintelga and will also get a link to Lazaro. This will give you the chemistry that you need, making it very easy for you to finish this team. Moving on, we have the Elite Eight. 
The requirements for this challenge is exactly eight nationalities, max two players from the same nation, max three players from the same club, minimum five rare players, exactly gold players, and team chem 88. And this is the team that I put together. Starting off in net, we have Tata Rosano, who cost me zero coins. Right back, we have Desiglio, who cost me zero coins. Center back position, we have Demerol, who cost me zero coins. Other center back position, we've gone for Godin, who cost me zero coins. Left back position, we have DeMarco, he cost me 500 coins. In the center mid position, we've gone for Ericsson, he cost me 1,000 coins. Right in the middle of the pitch, we've gone for Amrabat, who cost me 1,000 coins. In our left center mid position, we've gone for Bentica, who cost me 800 coins. In our right wing position, we've gone for Hatabu, who cost me 0 coins. In our striker position, we've gone for Pajaka, who cost me 500 coins. And finally, in the left wing position, we went for Perisic, who cost me 1,100 coins. If you copy this exact team here, you should all be good with chemistry. You don't actually have to swap out any of these players. The only thing that you might need to do is actually change some of these players' positions. If you change your left wing back to a left back, you change Amrabat from a CDM to center mid, you change your right mid to a right wing, and your left mid to a left wing. But this is only if you don't reach the chemistry amount. If you have loyalty, you'll be able to do this with ease. In total, this cost me 4,900 coins, and out of it, I was able to get a prime gold players pack. This now brings us around to our final team. This team is called Around the World. The requirements are exactly 10 nationalities, minimum 8 rare players, minimum team rating 81, and exact team chemistry being 100. And this is the final team that I've put together. In net, we've gone for Kevin Trapp, who cost me 1,100 coins. In the right wing back position, we went for Lena, who cost me 2,600 coins, the most expensive player that we've had to buy so far. In our first center back position, we got for Tap Sober, 1,400 coins. Right in the middle, we've gone for Gawalu, who cost me zero coins. In our left center back position, we've gone for El Vedi, who cost me 900 coins. For the right wing back, we've got Hernandez, who cost me zero coins. In the center mid position, we've got Campbell, who cost me zero coins. In our other center mid position, we've got Forsberg, who cost me 900 coins. The right wing position, we have Baku, who cost me 800 coins. The left wing position, we have Griffo, who cost me 500 coins. And then finally, for our striker, we've gone Kramerich, who cost me 1,300 coins. This team is very similar to the previous team. You can buy all of these players and they will all have links. But if you are falling low on chemistry, the thing that you would need to do is change players' positions. You can change the left mid and right mid to be left wing and right wing, and you can change your full backs to left wing back and right wing back. If you're still running low on chemistry, you can change Forsberg from a cam down to a center mid, but this will be your last option because the cam to center mid is slightly more expensive. In total, this team cost me 8,400 coins, and out of it, I was able to get a rare gold players pack. Once finishing, this is the whole nation hybrid SBC done. In total, for all the players that I bought, it cost me 18,650 coins. And out of it, I also got a rare mega pack. The reason that this is so cheap is purely because I've been able to pack a lot of players. And this has made it a lot easier. But there are ways in which you can make this considerably cheaper for yourselves. Firstly, you can swap out some of the players within this video for players that you do already have within your club. As long as you have a very similar links and chemistry to the teams that I've shown within this video, then you're all good. For example, with the first team, the final four, I have a full German defense. If you don't have those German players within your club, but when you search, you do have Italian players, then just swap them out. Swap all the German players for Italian players that you have within your account. And there you go. It's made it a lot cheaper for yourself. Another way that you can make it cheaper is by bidding on players. For a lot of these players, I did just go for straight buy nows. Reason for this was because I already had half the players in my account. I've already made it a lot cheaper for myself. But if I was just starting a completely fresh account, had zero of the players, I, instead of buying all of these players, would take the time to bid on these players. You'll be able to get them a lot cheaper. And then my final recommendation so that you can always make profit, and this is the biggest factor, you don't do the previous two points then make sure you are definitely doing this one this is actually trading with the players that you're putting within the teams so whilst i was trying to find players to buy i also stumbled across some players that i thought was going to be very good players to trade with i first attempted to start trading with kevin trapp and even though i was able to get a few cards to list on the market i didn't get too many of them but i was able to make a couple thousand coins just for a couple minutes of trading 
One of the biggest successes was when I started to trade with DeMarco. DeMarco is an Italian left back who was only costing 500 coins, but no one else was trying to bid on this player, which means he was going for 350 coins with no interest. I was able to bid on loads of DeMarcos at 350 coins and sell them at 500 to 600 coins, making a pretty nice profit. It wasn't difficult for me to trade, it didn't take any time whatsoever, this is because I was just doing simple bulk bidding. If you don't know what that is, I have already shown a video and I have already shown exactly how profitable it can be. If you do want to see that, there will be a link in the description down below, as well as there will be a card top right on your screen right now, which you can click and it will take you directly to that video. Once I stumbled across DeMarco and realized that I could bulk bid, I just went across 5 pages bidding on as many DeMarcos as I possibly could, until I filled my watch list. And I went back over to the SBCs, finished the SBCs, claimed my packs, and by the time I was finished, I went back to my watch list and I managed to win about 20 DeMarcos. All of those have been listed and all of them sold on very quickly. If you did this with just a couple of the players that you stumble across that you think are going to be good to bulk bid or do other trading methods with, then definitely do them. Out of my rewards, I did get lucky where I was able to pack my highest rated player so far, being Donnarumma, who is currently going for 40k but I ended up storing him to my club. But even if I was to be extremely unlucky and I got nothing out my packs, I still made 18,000 coins back just by trading with the players and I'm still trading with them to get even more coins out of them. The other players out of my packs weren't too special, I got Trippier, Rui Patricio and everyone else was just bang average. I did get a few silver players out of the Electrum players pack which did sell anywhere between 500 coins to 3000 coins which is definitely good. They actually went for more than some of the rare gold players and the common gold players that I was able to get from the other packs. Anyway guys, this is exactly how you can complete the Nation Hybrid SBC. If you follow everything that we talked about in this video, not only will you be able to finish these SBCs where you can potentially get someone good like I did, but you'll also be able to go through them and make easy profit as long as you trade with them, as long as you bid on players, and as well as swap out some of the players that you have within your club already. It means that at the end of this, even if you got absolutely nothing from your packs, you should still be in good hands. If you do have any questions about anything, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.